Today we're going to be going over an externalities problem. This problem gives us a graph with the marginal benefit to two separate producers and the quantity of pollution they produce based on that marginal benefit. So this question asks us if the government wants to limit total pollution to 2200 tons it could impose an emissions tax of blank on both firms. Our options are going to be A $400, B $100, C $300, and D $200. Since we can assume these firms are trying to maximize their benefit, we are going to know that they are going to want to produce to the point where their marginal benefit equals zero. So what we are effectively trying to do with an emissions tax is raise that zero level of benefit higher than it was before. So we're basically trying to take it from here to either here, 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 or here, and then looking at where they line up for their amount of pollution created. They're currently each producing 2,000 tons, meaning there's a total in this market of 4,000 tons being generated at this point right here. In order to bring it down to 2,200, we're going to have to impose a pretty high tax. Now, since this is a multiple choice problem, we are given our options in the multiple choice answers. So we can go off and go down the list, start off with A, $400. So if we impose a tax, $400, raising that baseline up, 400 And we're going to get firm B producing 1,200 tons of pollution and firm A producing 400. So that is going to add up to a total of 1,600 tons, which means that our answer is going to be slightly lower than a tax of $400. So now let's go see 100. So we raise the tax up 100. Now each firm is producing at these two points, 1,800 and 1,600. Now that adds up to a total of 3,200 tons of pollution. So that is not quite going to be correct. We're going to have to write that in. 3200. This one's going to be 1600. So now we know it's going to be somewhere in between these two areas. So now we're going to go on to C, which gives us 300. So we're going to go ahead and try 300. So raise that up, the tax of 300. And firm B is going to produce 1400 tons of pollution. And firm A is going to produce. 800. Now, so 800 plus 1400 is going to give us 2200, which is what we are after. So we now know that the tax that this government is going to want to impose an emissions tax of $300, and that will change the market's total amount of pollution emissions to 2200 tons, which is what we would assume must be socially optimal if that's what the government is trying to acquire. So we're going to go ahead and find 300 and circle that because that's the right answer.